Okay, GRF. Uh, back and uh, here's the 925 Drummer Boy charm, and as you can see, it's uh dropping out pretty good. I had to rig my clamp. So I can get it close enough to the water without submerging the clamp. But uh, let me give it a shake here. So you can see what it's doing. Uh, I don't know if you can actually tell, but there's a smoke stream coming off of it as well which the camera is not picking up, I don't think. Let me see if I can refocus. Oop. Yeah, there you go. You can actually see it. A little bit. Not much. Let me zoom in and get a little closer and see if I can get it to focus back in. A little bit more. Yeah, but see that smoke right there? keep shaking the table but that's what it's doing uh, can't see it but it's collecting on the bottom pretty good too uh, but here you go Duke's ounce hope I said that right uh, that's pretty much what it's doing. Uh, I'll weigh it again when I get done with it uh, just to see. Uh, I'm going to let it run for a couple hours at least. Uh, see what the outcome is. Uh, but like I posted when I cleaned the uh, bowl from the hydrochloric test on the powders they uh, powder itself kind of looked gray like what you see on the charm there which to me resembles uh, silver metals instead of silver chloride um, but so far it's an interesting experiment and uh, I'm learning some stuff as I go so that's all that really matters I uh, hope everybody else is too uh, go shout out to Jim Doc uh, thanks for the subscri subscribing to the YouTube channel uh, and Geo and GSP for uh following the thread and uh, Duke's Amps uh, y'all support means a lot uh, and I just want to say thanks shout out to the rest of the forum and I still ain't heard from Laser Steve or Harold V does anybody know where they're at uh, sure would like to know what they think alright I guess that's pretty much it